Hi guys! Today I'm going to be doing an eyeshadow tutorial using the Wet n Wild Lust Palette. It's so pretty. I've worn this in a couple of my previous videos and a lot of you asked me to do a tutorial. I also posted an Instagram picture and I said, should I do a tutorial on this? Because it is a discontinued palette and a lot of you said yes. And also a lot of you said that you can actually find this off of Amazon.com. You're probably going to spend a little bit more money than what I paid for. It was like $3.99 when I first got it, but um, you can find it. Actually, a lot of you said you can also find it on uh, or at Big Lots. I don't really have a Big Lots next to me, so I don't really know, but that's what a lot of people in the comments said. Um, you could also maybe find this off of BeautyJoint.com. I will leave you a link down below and I'll mention down there as well if they do have it in stock but yeah it's one of my favorite palettes i love it it's so pretty wet n wild needs to like stop making really pretty limited edition palettes and they need to start making really pretty like permanent palettes like i wish this was not discontinued um but anyway i hope you guys enjoy this tutorial let me know what you think about it down below and enjoy I'm starting off by using my usual Sonia Kashuk palette in this medium brown color. This is going to be my transition and blending shade. I also already primed my eyes. I use the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden. Now I'm going into the Wet n Wild Lust palette and I'm taking this light pink. It's all matte and I'm going to put this all over my lid. Now I'm taking my favorite color in the palette. This is the like violety, pinky, purple color. And this is going on the outer corner of my eyelid. I'm not bringing it into the middle, but close, as you can see. I'm not going too far in. And then I'm just gonna blend it out and I'm gonna do the same thing to my other eye. So sometimes I'll just stop here, but I also like to take the blackened plum color and add this on my outer V. I think it's really pretty. I don't bring it in as far as um, the violety purple, but um, yeah, I just kind of pack it on on the outer corner and then I'm blending it out. So now I'm touching up my all over lid color. I just want to make sure I didn't lose any of the color when I added the darker purples. So I'm just blending all those out. Okay, so now it's time for concealer and I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and also the Flower Cosmetics Concealer to highlight. And this is the first time I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me and it's okay. It doesn't give me as much coverage as the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, but it's okay. It still does the job. So I'm blending this in with my finger. I'm using the Real Techniques Complexion Sponge and I'm just cleaning up the edges and concealing my under eyes. I'm going to set those two concealers with the e.l.f. Mineral Booster Sheer Powder and I'm using my e.l.f. I think it's their small tapered brush. I love this powder to set my under eyes. I've been obsessed with it. And then to highlight my brow bone, I'm taking this like white cream shade and I'm just um, packing that on with my Sony Kashuk Shader Brush. And this does have a little shimmer but you can't really notice it so it's okay. And then I'm taking that violet -y color again with a smudge brush by e.l.f. and I'm just dragging this down my lower lash line. I'm using my regular Physicians Formula Eyeliner in brown, my favorite eyeliner ever, and I'm winging it out a little bit, not too crazy, and um, I have a pretty good eyeliner clip this time. I'm pretty impressed with myself. For mascara, I'm going old school and using my Lash Blast Fusion by CoverGirl. Girl. 
and this look is complete. I love this palette. I think it's so pretty. If you can get it online, do it. I swear you'll love it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.